So I got a few requests to do a speed test comparison here of the Galaxy S8 against the S7 Edge running the Galaxy S8 software. Uh, so we are running uh, a ported version of uh, the Samsung Experience 8.1 on the S7 Edge. And we're going to see which one is the faster device overall. So I think this is going to be very close because the S7 Edge still has a very flagship level processor uh, overall. But you can see the S8 uh, is starting a little bit faster here. Uh, not uh, hugely though, I've got to say the S7 Edge uh, was quite quick there itself. Uh, you can see we do have uh, you know the same uh, interface here then so for those who didn't see the other uh, video which is very nice uh, this is by the Dark Lord uh, ROM which uh, I will post a link in the description again if you want to check it out so yeah let's see uh, we're just going to open up a few apps here and see how they compare and then uh, we can move on to the heaviest stuff. So I'm guessing quite a few people will be wondering, is it worth it to upgrade here to the S8 if they have the the S7 or the S7 Edge? And so far, you know, based upon speed alone, I can't see a massive motivation. I just done this one. I have as in there. There you go. Let's uh, do another one. Uh, let's do the camera. So there's an issue with the uh, Bigsby Vision on the S7 Edge at the moment. That uh, it's just a black screen, so I'm guessing that's a bug. Uh, but you can see the actual uh, opening up here, very nice and comparable. Not uh, a massive difference between them. Uh, we can also move on to some third-party apps that we have installed. Uh, so we have Voxer. It's like uh, identical again. And uh, we do have Argos. So maybe the S8 is slightly faster on some of these ones. But I gotta say, you know, it's not the massive difference I was expecting overall. Uh, I think uh, if you're coming from an S7 Edge, you're not going to see a massive difference here. Maybe it is the S8 software, which is, you know, increasing the performance on the uh, the S7 Edge, which I do think runs very nice and smooth. Uh, on uh, saying this is like a ROM thing. Uh, what else do we have? Uber. So that was not fair. We'll just do that again. And uh, go. You see, so S7 Edge is uh, easily keeping up here on a lot of these. Uh, we do have, um, what else do we have? Some games. So maybe a little bit snappier on the left here. Uh, but not far behind, you can see again S7 Edge, uh, very uh, nimble, FIFA. Wow, that was literally neck and neck. I think the S8 did just pit the S7 Edge again. And some people still insist that, you know, Samsung phones slow down after a year, but I can't see it, you know, I can't see it with the S7 Edge. It's uh, really doing well here. Uh, I think we have one more. What was that one? Golf Clash. So we have this one. I bet there'll be a difference in terms of the uh, memory management. Probably the S8 will be a bit better there, but uh, you can see, if you're going to be really strict, the S8 was probably slightly snappier, but definitely not enough to justify, you know, moving from the S7 Edge if you do have this already. 
so let's have a look at the uh, synthetics here. So I think we don't have uh, speed test, so we'll just get that on and uh, let's see. Let's see how speed test compares. So we'll just start with the uh, S7 Edge. Wow. So absolutely fantastic score again, even a year later, after all those Coca-Cola tests and water tests, amazing. And the S8, I bet you it can't match it. No, well, probably it can. Oh, it can't, just by one megabyte there. So you can see the, uh, the S7 Edge is actually dominant when it comes to the Wi-Fi, which is really annoying, actually. You would expect the best. Let's give it another try, because I don't, uh, I can't believe that the old phone is better than the new one. Wow, that's even worse. I should have just stayed with the first score. <laughs> So strange uh, kind of occurrence here uh, with the S7 Edge. You know, I did say this in another video, I think the S8 isn't that good when it comes to the Wi-Fi, let's just be honest. Uh, maybe because it's so like compact, uh, we can have a look at the websites. So let's just quickly load something. Both of them using the uh, Samsung browser, Samsung Internet, Internet, and you can see I think the uh, left Samsung was a little bit snappier, and uh, but the actual viewing experience is very comparable here. You can see the content does glide upon both of them and uh, it's nice and fast here uh, so we can just uh, do some multitasking so i'm actually really interested in oh yes you can see some nice reloading already oh and then on the left as well so one one very similar for, for saying this is a ROM, this is very stable. I've got to say, there's been no, you know, uh, crashes and things that you do usually get with uh, ROMs on the S7 Edge. I mean, fantastic, uh, whoever developed it. You can see the basic apps are pretty comparable, really. No uh, major reloading here. Uh, so I'm going to give this a tie when it comes to the basic uh, apps which is fantastic uh, the games this is where we usually see a difference so it's going into a little bit snappier on the left but the actual there's no reloading which uh, is very interesting wow again straight in there Maybe Samsung should hire this uh, developer going forward, you know, to make uh, the same software on all Samsung devices. Uh, last one. I think they both reloaded this. Uh, so we did get to three games, or is it just resuming actually? I think it's resuming it. So that wasn't technically a reload. This did resume a little bit faster, but stunning performance there from the S7 Edge, you got to say. Uh, and uh, if I was you, you know, I wouldn't be in a rush to upgrade to the S8 if you still have an S7 Edge. There are some things to consider with the S8, obviously, which, uh, you know, you do get. Uh, apparently, you get Bluetooth 5.0, which allows you to do streaming to two different headsets, which is very good, you know, if you want to share your music. 
Uh, you also do get uh, better battery technology in here because some people are complaining, you know, the battery doesn't last anymore on the S7 Edge because of all that fast charging. But they worked on making it so this one should uh, be a lot better in a year or two's time. So that's another good thing. And obviously, uh, I'd say in terms of the feel in the hand, the uh, S8. Uh, it does feel a little bit better because it's less sharp around the edges which is one thing that did put me off the curved uh, displays of the past this feels like not a curved display which is fantastic uh, but as you can see there you know there's not a huge reason to upgrade really if you do have an s7 edge and i'd certainly you know recommend checking out the roms that are available for it to prolong its life uh, so yeah, just a quick comparison here. If you got uh, any questions, do let me know. Uh, as I said, the uh, Bigsby Vision is the only thing which I don't think works on this ROM, so do bear that in mind. Uh, but everything else seems to be pretty stable, fingerprint scanner, etc. So uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.